Hey, you're a bit stiff. Now. Old Yorkshire geek and a bit of Star Wars news. There's ructions in the Star Wars universe. Is that a word, ructions? Something my mum always said. Um, anyway, it means there's trouble. Uh, or maybe, because um, uh, various outlets are reporting Disney's removed a Star Wars movie from the December 2026 slate. Uh, I'm reading it from Variety. And it's been replaced by Ice Age 6, uh, which apparently does fall under the Disney umbrella now. I think it was part of Fox, wasn't it? I think it was released by Fox originally. It's a DreamWorks, isn't it? Is it DreamWorks? DreamWorks Animation. I think it is. Or it Blue Sky. One of those. I can't remember. But anyway. Uh, right, so let's have a read. But before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe. Subscribe. We keep tickling that 1,000 subscribers <laughs> um, ceiling and we're not quite getting over it. But uh, anyway, um, so if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. It's free. Um, it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, but if you want to spend money on me, send me a super thanks or stuff like that. Or become a member. Um, or explore the description. Uh, for links for like my Patreon and merch, which I'm not wearing because I'm stupid, but never mind. Um, and all that other stuff, my books, etc. I can't get to them, they're underneath something. Right, so let's have a read of this article. Uh, there we go, from Variety. Disney removed Star Wars movie from 2026 slate, replaced by Ice Age 6. It says Cat Kiss, is it Cat Kiss Stefan or Catchy Stefan? I don't know, I think I've gone through this before. Uh, and there's Ray, because people are thinking it's the Ray movie that's been uh, removed. Anyway, let's have a read. Disney has removed an untitled Star Wars film previously scheduled for December 18th, 2026 from its release calendar. Ice Age 6 will move into its spot. Uh, while it was never confirmed exactly what this project would be, Sharmino Bechinoy was previously announced as the director... Uh, of an upcoming Star Wars film following Daisy Ridley's Ray after the events of 2019's Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Uh, the film lost screenwriter Stephen Knight earlier this year after Damon Lindelof and Justin Britt Gibson previously de departed the project. Uh, Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy said at last year's Star Wars celebration that Ridley's new film would follow Ray as she builds a new Jedi Order and they basically dragged her out onto stage. She was all smiling and stuff, but... She was kind of rabbit in the headlights sort of thing, wasn't she? Um, as though it had, it had happened suddenly. Uh, I think Kathy Kennedy has had a brainwave. Let's do another Ray film. Come in, we'll throw loads of money at Daisy Ridley. Come in and do this appearance. I think that's what happened. Uh, but anyway, in this, in this other article uh, from uh, Variety, from a, a while ago, uh, this is when they were reporting that Stephen Knight had left. Um, it did say here, the next Star Wars movie, The Mandalorian and Grogu, from director John Favreau, is scheduled to premiere in May 2026. Disney has two slated two more Star Wars films for December 2026 and December 2027, but has not yet confirmed their titles. And the, you know, they didn't know which we didn't know which of the films were which. What were going to go there? Because remember, there's the James Mangold. Dawn of the Jedi film, the Daisy Ridley New Jedi Order film, even the Taika Waititi film, um, um, and oh, and there's Dave Filoni's film as well in there. So most likely it's going to be Dave Filoni's film in there. That's the most likely to be made, uh, in my opinion. But of the of the rest, who knows? Who knows? Taika Waititi, I think, has given up on on his Star Wars film. He seems to have. But anyway. Um, uh, reading on, uh, it wouldn't be the first time a potential entry in the beloved space opera franchise ended before it began. Uh, far from the first. <laughs> New instalments from director Patty Jenkins, Marvel producer Kevin Feige, The Last Jedi director Ryan Johnson, he of his has got a trilogy uh, fame, and I reckon he still thinks he's doing it. Uh, and Game of Thrones creators David Benioff and D.B. Weiss have been announced over the years, but none ever came to fruition. I mean, they got a trilogy as well, didn't they? Uh, Dan and Dave, uh, which is why the final season... People are saying that's why the final season of Game of Thrones was so bloody awful, because they essentially rushed it to get it out of the way so they could go off and do their Star Wars film. And it didn't work out, did it? Because they ended up going... Did they go to Netflix? I think they went to Netflix or somewhere, didn't they? Uh, like Zack Snyder, Netflix is the place where rejected people go to die. Uh, even though I'm a bit of a Zack Snyder fan, but um, never mind. 
Right, the next Star Wars movie, The Mandalorian and Grogu, they're not going to change the title, are they? So it's going to bomb. It is going to bomb at the box office with a title like that. I think it is. Or it'll... It'll just barely scrape uh, a profit. It depends how much they spend on it. Anyway, The Mandalorian and Grogu from director John Favreau is scheduled to premiere in May 2026. Another untitled Star Wars film remains on the slate for December 17th, 2027. And who knows what that is? That That's probably subject to change as well. Uh, the Mandalorian and Grogu is coming along. They've been filming. It might have finished filming now. It might be in post-production. I can't remember. Uh, at the Brazil D23 thing. Why did why did they do a thing in Brazil for D23? They do it, like, you know, regularly, don't they? Anyway, whatever. Uh, why Brazil? Why not? You know, but why? Um, they showed stills from the Mandalorian and Grogu. Um, I think showing, like, Y-wings and stuff like that on a planet. Uh, so th- there is stuff going on with it. Um, anyway... Uh, Elsewhere in a galaxy far, far away, drinking game. I've got to do that every time I read that in an article. Uh, Lucasfilm revealed uh, last week that X-Men alum uh, Simon Kinberg would write and produce a new trilogy with Kennedy, but even that's kind of up in the air because apparently that announcement came as a surprise to Disney and Lucasfilm executives outside of Kathleen Kennedy's office. Anyway, last week, Disney and 20th Century Animation announced that Ice Age 6 was in, pr- in production. Don't care. I'm not a huge fan of the Ice Age film. I don't hate them or anything like that, but, um, you know, I'm not a massive fan. Uh, the first one were, were good, but it kind of started to get you silly. They had dinosaurs in, for Christ's sake, in some of them. I know it's only a cartoon, but uh, we're talking animals, but, you know, bloody hell. <laughs> right, so, there we go. Uh, no Star Wars film in December 2026, apparently. Um, is it the rare film that's been um, postponed? We'll say postponed. I won't say cancelled, but um, we'll say postponed. But uh, anyway, I don't know. I don't know. I honestly don't know, because you never know what's going to happen in the world of Star Wars these days. People can come you know, on, online and say, this isn't going to happen, this is going to happen, but and you, ne- you don't know what's going to happen. I don't have sources, um, like some people do, unfortunately. Uh, so I can only guess at what's going to happen. And that background looks very familiar. Is that the same place that we saw in The Mummy that were uh, Hamanaptra? And I think it were also in that uh, James Bond Spectre where Blofeld had his secret base. It's like a crater, isn't it, in the desert? Is it that place? Probably not. It just looks familiar. But anyway, I know it's from um, Rise of Palpatine, isn't it? Where she jumps over Kylo Ren's spaceship. Is it a TIE fighter, is it? No, is it? Oh, I can't really remember now. I've only seen it once. <laughs> I think it's the only Star Wars film I think I've only seen once. I think I've only seen it once. I don't remember re-watching it. Because it was just that bad. Anyway, I might have to give it another go and have another laugh at it. I know I said that a lot about films. I'll have to watch it again, and I never do. But I'm rambling again. Um, right, so, there we go. Um, the Substance. Sorry, you can't see it. It's over there, look. They're talking about The Substance. Um, I tried watching that recently. Um, I thought it was crap. Everybody's raving about The Substance and how amazing it is. I turned it off. I thought it was rubbish. Um, and that were, that as well were a non-event, wasn't it? Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. I were bored senseless. I would think, come on, Mike, hit him. And he wasn't doing... He was just getting hit and breathing. I know he's 58, he's older than me. And he could splatter me with a single punch, but, you know. He's getting the big bucks, put on a show, Mike. But he didn't. But uh, anyway, I didn't watch it live, because it was in the middle of the night. I watched it this morning. Um... Uh, but uh, whatever. Uh, while we're at it, what else is there? Jake Paul wins. Uh, spoilers, by the way, if you haven't seen. Um, Cobra Kai bosses on killing off somebody in season six part. You know what? I haven't watched season six of Cobra Kai yet. I keep forgetting about it. And I like Cobra Kai. But again, I'm rambling. Right, back to Star Wars. Um, What's when is the next Star Wars film coming out? Well, it's obviously it's 20, May 2026. It looks like it's going to be Mandalorian and Grogu. That's on schedule, isn't it? But apart from that, 
Who knows? My next guess would be the Dave Filoni film because he's there, isn't he? He's there at Lucasfilm. Um, he's going to direct it, probably write it as well. Uh, so that's that's a shoo-in for me. All the others, where they're bringing in outside directors, Shamino uh, Bechinoy, James Mangold, Taika Waititi, whoever else they think up, um, they're all up in the air for me. They're just announcements that probably won't happen because they've done it before, haven't they? They've announced things and then um, they never happened. But uh, anyway... So there we go. That's it for the news this Saturday, 16th of November. I had to think about the date then. Um, so, right. We'll leave it there. So, thanks for watching, wherever you are. Look after each other. And until next time, I'll see the.